Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Mr. Saucedo's YouTube videos. Today, we're going to be talking about Graham's Law, and it's going to be the shortest video probably I've ever made. So this guy, Thomas Graham, found that when you release two gases, the rate at which they move is directly related to their molar masses. Now, there's a whole formula for this, but you really don't need to know the formula. You just need to know the practical application of Graham's Law. So it kind of makes sense, but the heavier the gas, the slower it moves, right? Things with you know uh, more mass are going to be harder to move. They're going to have less kinetic energy overall. And so that was just an intuitive kind of extension of his law. Also, the lighter the gas, the faster it's going to move. And this is what we call Graham's law. Okay, There is, like I said, a mathematical relationship between them. You don't need to know that mathematical relationship. All we need to be able to do is to compare the molar masses of each substance. So here is it. This is the only question you need to be able to like do for right now. I have four balloons. They all have one mole of gas. I want to know which one is going to deflate the fastest and put them in order to which one is going to deflate the slowest. All right, so I've got argon, helium, sulfur trioxide, and then I've got nitrogen monoxide. I need to know the molar masses of these. Argon, easy, on the periodic table, 39.95. Helium, also easy, on the periodic table, 4.00. Sulfur trioxide, add those up, 80.80, 80. 80.07. Uh, 80. Nitrogen monoxide, also just on the periodic table, add nitrogen to oxygen, you get 30.01. So which of these is going to have molecules moving faster? So if it were to be deflated, okay, it would go faster than the rest. You got it right here. Helium would be first. Then what would be next? Nitrogen monoxide. Then argon. And then finally, sulfur trioxide.